you're all doing very well. I am currently walking through the shopping district, the admin shopping district, inside of the main spawn area on the new ASMR craft server. It's season one here on ASMR craft and Honestly, I have not seen such activity on the server <laughs> so early in the morning. Now, some people might be uh, AFKing <laughs> for obvious reasons, but it is about half six in the morning here in the UK, so it's obviously even earlier. Hello, Fat Bacon, even earlier in uh, the US. There's still incredible activity and it's so good to see. Welcome to episode one of season one of my playthrough, my survival playthrough on the ASMR Craft server. Um, you may have seen some of my previous videos introducing the server and explaining how to work, so I will link those in the description below, which yeah, explains how to play, but also how you can join. This is a totally free-to-play server on Java 1.18.1 .1 at the moment. If you're watching this video a little bit later, we may have updated, so um, join the Discord, the ASMR Crop Discord, if you want to be updated on everything there is to be updated on on the ASMR craft server. We are constantly developing things um, and improving the world. So, of Minecraft, that is. Although I like to think that this server improves the world as well, but uh, one step at a time. Now, as I mentioned, this is the admin shopping area. I logged off about seven hours ago. I started my playthrough kind of um, off camera. I probably played about two or three hours off camera. I actually did record it, so technically it was on camera, but I was going to do a kind of um, non-live commentary over it. And I decided to change that idea um, just because I like I, I very much like live commentary I much prefer it I only got through some of the early game stuff so I kind of uh, demonstrated things like where all of the, the welcome boards are which you will see when you join the server so I would recommend going and checking those out and some of the early game um, help such as uh, kits which uh, give you some starter tools and explain to you how to use some of the plugins but we're not going to concern ourselves too much with that right now because like I said I have done a couple of um, introductory videos which explains all that I want to know why my balance has risen to 13,000 now that amount of money is it very much pales in comparison to some of the um, the big dogs on the server. I signed off last night um, with Bucko, who has been the richest on the server for basically the entirety of his existence for a week and a half or whatever. Um, he was on about four hundred and fifty thousand last night. He's now risen to six hundred. And from what I could see, he has not really been online, so he's been generating a lot of passive income. This is a new admin shop. I've not seen this before. Experience models and books. You can buy books now and experience models. That is very, very interesting. So if you, I mean, I guess why not? Because you could just buy levels if you're really rich. That's quite a nice idea. Uh, that actually reminds me. From the last um, introductory video that I did, we've added two new plugins. The first plugin is called Time is Money. And as
as you can see, it pays the player $500 every 10 minutes just for being online, and that's just to get new players started here and there. It's a little bit of a boost for you guys. Um, and the other plugin is a very, very cool. Um, it's called Discord SRV. Now, I think it's, I love it. I really, really love it. It links our Discord server, the ASMR Crafter Discord server, with the in game chat. So if you go onto the Discord and I say hello here in game, it will appear in the Discord. <laughs> hello, Bobby. Um, and obviously vice versa. So people who are not currently playing on the server can interact with people on the server, which is just brilliant. It helps uh, keep the community constantly, you know, in contact in contact with each other. And uh, especially for things like trading, it's just absolutely brilliant. But anyway, we should actually play the game, I think. Um, books. Now, I'm not sure, is that a bit cheap for books, given how much money people have? And the thing is, you need to make paper, you need to make leather. I feel like that might be a bit cheap. Oh, 500 per book. Okay, no, that makes sense. That is a lot of money. And this is 2000 per 8. This is a nice shop, actually, then. That is a very, very good idea. So, in the, sh in the admin shopping district, you can sell most things. And you can buy a few grindy type things. So, stone bricks. Bricks. Um, I think you can buy coal for a very expensive price, relatively speaking. Same for redstone. I don't think you can buy these things because they are technically farmable. Anything that you can farm is not purchasable.
must have sold some stuff from our shop. I, I started a shop which sells just absolutely terrible, terrible items. But somebody must have taken pity on me and, and purchased, purchased some of them. Uh, okay, yeah, they're gone now. But yeah, so for example, uh, I can't obviously break this this guy's, it's Matthias's. I can't break Matthias's uh, pumpkins because um, it's claimed, but this huge pumpkin field directly outside of the spawn dome is his, alongside this church of Matthias. Don't be a cheap bitch and donate to the holy pumpkin. We'll give him a piece of meat. Go on then. Uh, we have a little farm over here. I think this is Seraphic's farm. And this is just generating some things for his potion shop, I believe. Yep, Seraphic. Ah, uh, this is a cool little operation. So, um, I won't reveal kind of why. Well, obviously, I mean, come on, it's not that. It's not that. It's not that secret. Um, I believe. Um, I believe Figmo is starting a kind of copper, oxidized copper operation. Now, oxidized copper, oxidized copper takes a long, 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 long time to oxidize. So he set up a little area near to spawn where there's going to be the most activity and people nearby um, waiting for it to oxidize and then going to sell all that oxidized copper for huge profit to the, to the uh, admin shopping district. The, I guess the main thing is that it's a, it's a waiting game, so it's kind of passive income, so he can just put it there, forget about it, and then come back when, you know, maybe in a couple of days time, and hopefully it's all oxidized, and he can just make instant cash. You might see in the distance, my, my personal favorite bill at the moment, which is by Teenage Pensioner. I mean, look at this. Oh. I don't remember putting that there. Um, this is just... Wait, I just realised that I am buying salmon for 500 there. I don't want to do that. I'm going to get rid of this shop, actually. I don't know why I put that there. And I could have been bank bankrupted by it. Thank God no one saw it. Um, but yeah, look at this. A huge ship. That teenage bench nose built is absolutely beautiful. Nice little bridge over to it. Um, we'll, but we'll, you know, we'll do a proper tour later on. Later on, because I want to keep my playthrough separate from the tours, generally speaking. But I just wanted to show you. Actually, this side hasn't been occupied much by farms yet, so I, I'm sure it will be in in a, in a short. In a short time, I guess it's because there's no there's no exit on this side of the dome. But anyway, um, let's go back home. I might actually farm up some of these now. Actually, no, hang on. Let's go to the player shopping district because I want to see where I've got this money from. So this is where all you guys are setting up your shops. Um, it's making a lot of people very rich. You've got this cool little pumpkin shop and I've set up in this very small little alleyway. <laughs> my terrible, my terrible shop. So somebody did buy my single egg for a thousand. <laughs> somebody did buy my phantom membrane for a thousand. Now I thought that might actually be helpful because I don't think there is a phantom membrane shop. My apple was bought. My flint has not been purchased though. Um, so I think, you know, take this with a pinch of salt, probably people are buying things um, from me, you know, pity me, um, not sure this would work for everyone, <laughs> so it feels a bit, feels a bit cheaty, but um, I'm not going to complain because I now, let's, let's see where I rank, I am now the 12th most, uh, the 12th richest individual on the server closely uh, closely following uh, or chasing shall I say teenage pensioner on the list um, in the distance though you can see squiddy land and I, I, I imagine that that is going to build up to be something pretty amazing in probably not too much time um, but with 14,000 you know I was thinking we could search through the player um, the player shopping district maybe look for a 
diamond store or something. Diamonds currently are being sold to the admin shop for 800 per diamond, I think. So you can't buy them from the admin stores, but you can sell them. So the the player play district, the player shopping district, will not sell them for, for less than 800. So it could be pricey. Sorry buddy, you're gonna, you've, you've missed the train on that one though. 
I mean, he's probably thinking, whatever. <laughs> We've had so much money uh, compared to me. Let's buy it. Otherwise, stacked from Swim Boy as well. Okay, so that's that's got us quite neatly back into a decent position. This is what we've bought from the shops. A very decent price overall. Um, I might actually buy a book. <laughs> I might buy a book. What? Have, how much money have I got? Please tell me. I've not got enough. Oh, I should have bought that, uh, that second um, diamond pickaxe. Enchanted book. What have we got? What's the cheapest one? Well, oh, that's not going to be something like... Oh, that's 13,000.
I might have to set this up in some sort of automated way. Um, in fact, I think I really will have to. Let's put that all down like that. Uh, because otherwise, I'm just going to make absolutely no money. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this because this doesn't make sense. It needs to be a one higher. Otherwise, I can't run along and, uh, and break them. And that's meant to be the whole point, so we're going to have to redesign this little farm. And we've got our wheat here as well. I'm going to get rid of all this. This just, this just does not work. It does not make sense. I don't know if you can sell wheat to the shops. don't think you can, to be honest. I bought this. 
dollars uh, bone meal I think for a thousand per stack and obviously you can make three stacks of bone meal with it so uh, that's roughly 300 per per stack of bone meal so we have to take that into consideration when we're drawing up our profits for you know, things we're making, if we're going to do a tree farm, it's going to be a lot of farming, a lot of laborious farming, for not probably, probably not too much profit, so I don't think a tree farm is a good idea right now. There are also automatic tree farms that people can make, so um, I'm not sure that's the best idea, at least not before I get a fully enchanted um, axe, but I could, I tell you what, I could give people access to my tree farm. I could like set up a tree farm and people can pay me like maybe a, a daily price to enter. And, and, oh, that's a good idea. Like an entrance fee. I don't mind that idea. I don't mind that idea. We can think of these types of things, guys. You know, there's a lot, there's money to be made. There's money to be made made. Um, I'm going to bring my coal with me. I'm actually going to pop a lot of this crap back in here because I'm not going to need it for now. Like pumpkin seeds and stuff like that. Oak logs. Okay. Probably could have taken those planks actually in that case. <laughs> How many can we make like this? Not too many. Oh, ten. much 
seeds, but we can make seeds. Like this. I could start a flower shop. Oh, you can automate this. The way you do it is with um, sticky pistons and bone mill, obviously bone mill. But that, that could be, that could be a good idea because people need dye for their aesthetic stuff, don't they? Um, my god, Damon's connection is very poor. <laughs>